Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a quick look at how you can create a dashboard such as this in Power BI in under 5 minutes. That's right, under 5 minutes. So let's get started. So first, we need some data. So I'm going to use one of the data sets that's uh, provided by Microsoft. Um, you can find it here. So i am just copy this uh, link for you. So this is the link. Uh, if you go to, over to this link, um, you can download the spreadsheet. So here's the sample spreadsheet that I've downloaded. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's uh, it's got some sales and profit related information. It's split by segment, country, uh, product dimension, and finally on uh, it's got a date timestamp. Oh, I'm sorry, just a date stamp. So that's the data set that we're going to be working. Now I've got a new uh, Power, Power BI um, uh, application uh, blank one open here so to get started let's uh, actually connect with Excel so that's uh, the data set that we have to work with um, so again we've got a couple of uh, sheets here so we basically need what's in sheet one uh, okay so load that data set again if I'm going too fast uh, just pause the video and uh, you can play back whenever required all right so uh, here's a blank sheet right now so let's uh, pop in some data uh, so let me just track uh, country there and uh, you'll notice uh, Power BI is quite intelligent. It uh, detected that, yep, those were actual uh, geographic names and uh, let's actually plot sales onto that. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so now we've got a chart with sales on it. So that's looking good. So let's move on to the next one. So now we want to uh, say split it based on say segment uh, for example and let's actually view it as pie chart and uh, we would like to view um, the sales data okay brilliant we are good so far and next uh, let's plot some metrics uh, say as a dashboard chances are uh, one would want to see totals like uh, total sales volume for example and let's just uh, create another one uh, which is um, say unit price here yeah. so let's get rid of that the number of units sold and uh, to top it all off, um, maybe we would like to see that against a timeline. So let's see, we've got the date column here. And um, uh, again, Power BI is uh, um, intelligent. It did detect uh, from Excel that that was a date column and it allows you to drill down. And let's just say we want to see sales data. And uh, maybe by default, we want to view it by month. And then finally, we would like to maybe let's just see eh, maybe give a breakdown by products all right so okay products and maybe we'll look at it again based on sales volume but this time around we'll kind of like split it this way so here you go we've, um, we've just uh, short of a few minutes uh, but uh, yeah there you go in uh, three minutes we've actually created the first um, dashboard uh, as you can see it's really quick and easy it allows us to now slice and dice that data so if I select uh, say for example government data here so let me just uh, bring that off and uh, just for exploratory uh, purpose from within the desktop uh, Power BI desktop you can see that it does give us a great interactive canvas uh, we can click on any of the charting components and you can see how it slices across uh, through the others uh, so, for example, if I wanted to see the U.S. Uh, sales from U.S., uh, you can see it gives us a good split. Um, again, we can go further. So, let's maybe add um, one more dashboard since we've got time. Uh, so, again, let's do something alongside sales and uh, let's pop in date. And this time around, let's plot it against the timeline and uh, let's actually just view it as a date itself. Uh, now, helpful for us to see things like trend. So this time around I can actually pop in, um, say in addition to sales, maybe I want to see how much profit I made and also compare it uh, with a discount. So as an example, I can see uh, by providing different discounts, um, have my profitability actually changed or has it been influenced at all? So it gives us a quick trend. And then again, it will allow us to maybe look at it across different segments so this time around let me choose this chart here so profit that's the segment and based on uh, the profitability itself um, so here i can see that uh, the biggest segment of uh, profitability is uh, government so 
now I can actually slice and dice data um, just really easily. So all in all, you can see how quickly we can create a dashboard using Power BI. So uh, actually, we have created two dashboards in about five minutes. So that's a wrap up for this video. Hope um, hope you like this video. Do like and subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching.